Hello, okay, I'm gonna show you how to get a live webcam feed into Code Life on a Windows machine. Um, you can do this with Mac uh, too. I can make a video about that if folks want. Um, but I'm using, uh, t there's, I'm sure there's other ways, but I'm gonna be using OBS to spout to Code Life to get the webcam in. So let's start with Googling OBS Spout plugin. And then it's going to be the first one that pops up. Uh, I can include a link in case Google decides to re-rank these. Um, and then you go down to releases. And then what you're gonna do is that you're going to see which version matches your, your OBS. So if you're using OBS, it should say it up here in the top. I'm using OBS 27, so I scrolled down to OBS 27. I downloaded it and I installed it. It's a really simple, um, uh, thing to do so you need, you need to do is you click on assets and then the exe and then you can open the exe and then you run it anyways live dangerously I'm gonna say no just because I already installed it but then you just basically walk through the installer and use all the defaults um, basically just means you click okay 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 then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into OBS you're gonna restart OBS after you install it um, and then you're going to add your webcam, so video capture source webcam. This name is already in use. No, go figure. Webcam one. Okay. And then going to click choose my webcam. Hello. And then I'm going to position it to where I want it. Um, and then to start the uh, spout stream, you're going to go to tools, spout output settings. So if this isn't here, that means that your plugin wasn't installed correctly. So let's have that start streaming. And so I'm going to hit start. Um, so it's streaming now. And Code Life can take in spout. Yay! So let's open up Code Life. And let's put my little screen on the other side now. Um, so to get your webcam in, you're going to have to use this parameter called shared image. So under parameters, let's just say under project, under parameters, uh, constant, so I, I click the plus button, and then I hit constant, and then shared image. And I scrolled down, it created this new um, input. Uh, and the server, you should see OBS spout. And if you don't see this, that means that um, you're plugin isn't streaming so you have to click start you maybe didn't click start on your plugin or it didn't install correctly something like that um, and so now we have our spout server spout um, and it's called shared Two. I can just rename this webcam webcam and then we can just get it input like any other texture so I'm just gonna um, use declare it up here uniform sampler 2d webcam and then down here, uh, back four, W equals texture 2D <laughs> webcam. And then let's just do regular VTEX cord. Great, and then let's use it. Let's put it um, here, let's say F uh, back four, return or ret <laughs> equals mix of f and w and let's just say it's going to be mixed with what the webcam looks like okay oh no did that not work <laughs> um, oh right because i need to have ret be the return oh hello okay great now i am um intermingled with my shader uh so we can do negative one so that it you can kind of see the effect more um, pronounced okay yeah that's it <laughs> oh you couldn't see my coding okay well that's the you get the gist of it let me know if you want any other videos I normally just will make videos as what people request as people request it um, for Mac I actually use another, I use, um, uh, I use OBS 
to cite OBS to NDI, and then I use this other application called NDI to siphon. And then that is how I do that. I can make a video if folks want it, but I just suppose most people are using Windows for graphics programming. Anyways, have a good day.